Hey guys, welcome to part 15 of this Django tutorial series. Today we're going to continue building the cart. So first I want to move the cart item HTML into a separate file to keep things as clean as possible. So if I go into cart.html, then I want to take all of this, which is inside of this for loop, just cut it out from there. And then inside the cart folder there, I want to create a new file called partials, because this is not full pages. And then in there, a new file called cart item.html. Then I can just paste it in there. And then back in the for loop, I want to use the include. So include cart slash partials, which is the folder, and then cart item.html and save. So now this file is a little bit better and this can also be reused other places. So then I can set the first task to done. Okay, next step is to add the HTMX wrapper around the menu cart. So up in the menu, each time we uh, do something here, for example this, you will see that this updates. But when you do things here, you have to do things a little bit different. I need to use event listeners. So if I go to base.html, I need to add something here. So around this one, I add a new div. And then on the next line, ajax.get, sorry. URL, ajax menu cart. So I will add this soon and then close. So when we get the event listener, we want to call this. And Ajax trigger, what's going to trigger this event, update, menu, cart. When we come to the next part, you will probably see what I mean here. From colon body. And the action I want to do here is Ajax-swap. And I want to swap the inner HTML. And then I can close that div and wrap it around like that. So in the to-do list now, we have added this. Next, I want to create a new view and URL where we're going to get this or create this page. So if I now go to cart slash views.py, you can add this at the bottom. Def Ajax menu cart request. And then here we just say return render request. And then we pass in cart slash menu cart.html and this is the HTML we have in here. So when we send an event listener this view will be triggered and this up here will be re-rendered. So then we just need to import this to the URLs. So import it at the end there. And then we can set all of the different uh, HTMX requests at the bottom. So path hx menu cart and then we pass in the view and set the name to hx menu cart like that so i can understand that this is a little bit confusing now because you can't see exactly what we are doing but it will probably start to make, uh, make sense soon so let's set this task to done and then i want to create a new view and url for updating the cart so when we click plus and minus here we need to call a view so let's go back to views.py and then we can add it here we can add it above the login required so def update cart oops update cart pass in the request parameter and the product id we want to update and the action if you are going to increment or decrement so first we want to create a new instance of the cart like that sorry i see that i have some debug here from the previous part let's just remove this and then go down here and then we can say if action which is this one equals increment then we know that we want to add one more to the cart. So cart.add. I pass in product ID 1 and true because we want to update. If it's not increment, then we want to decrement. So cart.add product ID minus 1 
and true. So now we want to subtract one item from the cart. And since we're doing a few things here now with the HTMX, we need to do a few changes here. So first we want to get the product from the database. So product equals product, oops, product dot objects dot get where primary key equals product ID, which we get from the URL. As you can see here now, I have not imported product yet. So let's do that now. From product.models import product. And I want to get the quantity for this product from the cart. So quantity equals cart.getItem. We're going to create this function soon. And there I just put in the product ID and then I want to create a new dictionary for this item which we're going to return back to the cart. So item equals new dictionary. Here I pass in the product. Here we're going to need the ID. So product.id. We want to use the name. Product.name. The image. Oops. Image product.image the thumbnail but we are going to use the get thumbnail here product.get thumbnail as a function and not a property and then price product.price like that and then down here we want to set the total price for this item and there we just multiply quantity with product.price and then we divide it with 100 so we can display it as dollar and cents. And then the quantity, which you can just copy from there and save. So now we have the object, but we still need to return this. So let's create a new response. Response equals render request. And then we want to render the cart slash partials slash cart item dot html. And here we need to pass in the item as item. And then here we can say return response like that. And then there's just one more thing I want to do here. And that is to trigger the update menu cart. And to do that we need to add a header to this response response like this here we just pass in hx dash trigger equals update menu cart and save so now when this response is run it will trigger this which will go in here and trigger this which will call this url and get this html back and then it will be updated so if I go back to the view again now, you'll see that we used this get item function. We need to create that before we can test this. So at the bottom here, we create a new method, def get item self and product ID. And then we can just say return self.cart. And then we need to convert this product ID to a string product ID and save. So now that should be finished. Then we just need to change the, let's see if this is done. Yes, we can set this to done. And then the next step is to add htmx attributes for the cart buttons. So if you go back to cart.html, sorry, cart item.html, then I want to change this. So let's just add these to a separate line. And then here you can say ajax get URL we are going to use is update cart. Oops. But we also need to pass in the item.product oops product.id and decrement because this is the minus button decrement like that and the target we're going to use here 
is ajax dash target and in here i say this hashtag cart dash item dash item dot product dot id sorry item dot product dot id because this needs to be unique and the action we want to do is ajax dash swap outer html because we want to replace all of the html for this product and then we also need to do a little change for this div which is the product id and paste it in there so now this will be the id which we can refer to down there let's remove the this one move this to a separate line for cleaning now we can copy all of this and just replace this and we can replace the minus with plus and say increment here instead and save so now i think everything here should be okay let's open up the inspector to see if there are errors and we can plus okay i got the 404 error back here yes as you can see there's something wrong with the url i used yes i forgot to add uh, to close this like that so let's try again no reverse okay i forgot to add it to the urls sorry about that so to urls import update cart and then below here but update cart integer product id which you're going to expect but we're also going to expect an action here so str for string action pass in update cart and set the name like that and save so let's go back refresh now the error is gone we can try to click plus okay now i changed from 404 to a 500 error and support because i can't multiply a dictionary with an integer okay did a little mistake there so go back to views.py yes because here if you remember i returned the whole product but i only want the quantity so add quantity at the end here like that so let's try one more time plus and now it incremented to two and the price here also updated let's try one more time yes and it also increments a pair perfect so now the cart looks much better so now i can go back here and set this to done before i continue i just want to say thanks to all of my patrons if you too want to support me you will find a link in the description below and if you see here this did not update but if i refresh it does so next step now is make it possible to increment and decrement this when we click these buttons so what i want to do then is to create one more partial file for the cart so in the partials folder create one more called cart total.html here i can just say dollar and then use brackets double brackets cart.get total cost and save that's everything we need there then we need a view to render this so go to views.py and just make a copy of this ajax cart total and cart total and we can also import this to the urls.py add it at the end there make a copy of this line and replace this sorry this this and this with cart total and save so now the functionality there is done so then i just need to do the same thing we did in base.html this one i need to copy this and go to cart.html and paste it around here so just remove this and then i can actually add these to the span like that like that like that and that 
and then in here we include the template we just created so include cart partials slash cart total.html and save so now this should work just like the menu except we need to update this of course cart total the trigger can just be like this so refresh click plus did not work I get the 500 error template does not exist okay probably add the wrong URL here it should be cart slash partials like that try one more time yes now you can see that this updates as well nice okay so then we can go back to the to-do list and set the last task to done and that was it for this part i hope you liked it and if you did please hit like below if you have any questions about Django, feel free to leave a comment below and answer as soon as i can see you in the next video